do it. <laughs> so we've left Dawson. We are crossing the river and the only way to cross the river here is by ferry. Unless it's winter and then it's frozen and you can go across by dog sled. Uh, oh, that's cool. They're trying is to let you us? go. Yeah, let's see if we fit. Yeah, we were a little worried we were gonna drag. <laughs> that was our- I think we did, just a little bit. It wasn't as bad as I thought though, so. <laughs> But we made it on the ferry. Do keep in mind that there's only limited space on this ferry. It's a small one. So you'll definitely have to wait your turn with a large rig. And it's about a five to seven minute ride. Is that cool? The Airstream's on a ferry. So this side is technically West Dawson. I guess that's East Dawson? East side? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but in the winter, this river freezes over and then they actually, I guess, go across by a sled or whatever you do on a frozen river. Um, and so obviously the ferry is not running when everything's frozen over. But then you've got this limbo couple of months where it's not totally frozen over, but it's kind of mushy. And so during those months, um, everybody on this side is kind of stuck over here. So they really stock up on supplies and all that kind of stuff and just do their thing. It's a free ferry. We did have to wait just a little bit, but yeah, about an hour. it's a cool experience. Um, not too bad. It is. It's, it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And, um, Dawson city has some history to it as well. It's like a mining town. Of course we are into history, but our four year old does not do too well <laughs> with museums and reading signs. She's just not there yet. Yeah. So we didn't get to check out as much as we would have liked to have checked out. We but just checked know, out a lot of playgrounds. Yes, we did. We know every <laughs> playground in the city. There's also a pool and even the surrounding campgrounds where the playgrounds are at for those. But the buildings are really cool and it's, they put on um, historical shows and um, the restaurants are really good here and it's just a really cute little quaint town with a lot of history. One of the things to also keep in mind is we're going to be going Going through customs again we've got to cross the border from Canada back into the US so you definitely want to kind of watch your timing from the west side of Dawson it's about three hours to get to customs and their hours are usually around nine to nine so far all we've done is go straight up for like four miles you know it's called top of the world right <laughs> got to flatten out at some point. If you're going to the top of the world, it could keep going up for a while. Oh yeah, Alaska. We're getting close. Found some snow, didn't we, Hensley? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh, this is up here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what the elevation is, but we were up here. Do you feel on top of the world, Hensley? Uh -huh. You do. So I don't think I've ever driven that much incline for that consistent of a time ever. It was probably it was 15 to 20 miles of six to eight percent grade um, that we were going up. Just kept going and going and going and going, but. The cool thing about going up is that's where all the views are. So we are up here, man. So Marissa told me she wanted to take a side highway off of the already 
what I consider rough on our vehicles Alaskan highway my initial impression was no let's not do that <laughs> but you know, we've kind of eased our way into it went to Tombstone Mountain which has a gravel road similar to this it's not as bad as what I thought it'd be it's not smooth interstate type road but honestly the gravel as far as wear and tear on your vehicle doesn't seem to be as bad as some of the paved roads we've been on that have all these ruts and heaves all over the place well i understand that there are some jagged rocks uh the slower you go the less likely they are to puncture tires if you've got we got 10 ply tires all around so it's not as big of a deal for us but especially if you have eight ply or something like that i think you would still be okay just the whole dirt yeah what'd that taste like is it crunchy yeah is that <laughs> yummy Mm-hmm. <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah. She's at least moved on, hopefully, somewhat past the sand and dirt phase. <laughs> Come show Dad what you done. <laughs> Do you still like to eat sand? No. No. There you go. <laughs> So this is what the road's like close up. You will get some of this, which, uh, wow, <laughs> that's nice. Drone footage, look who I let drive up here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what your second or third time driving this? I drove a couple of Second times. or third time. <laughs> Might as well do it on top of the world, right? Right. If you can drive top of the world, then you can do anything, right? All right we got red flags coming up. What does that mean? It means there's going to be something that I don't want to run over with the <laughs> trailer in the airstream. It's going to be some kind of dip or pothole or it's gonna be something you need to slow down for. That's yeah. a broader term. I don't know if I can slow down anymore. We're never gonna get there if you keep stopping and eating we're snow. We're never gonna get there. No. So we're about 30 minutes ish from the border, I think. And then Chicken, which is where we're hoping to get to tonight. Yes, there's a town called Chicken uh -huh. in Alaska. So we're hoping to make it to Chicken tonight. That's like our stopping point. And yes. Chicken does serve chicken. You ready to get the chicken, Hensley? Mm -hmm. There you go. It's an icing. <sighs> oh my goodness. That is as rustic as you get. Now that's gonna melt, Hensley, and it's gonna get cold, okay? I know you're not around snow a lot, but. I tried to get the clean snow, but she's dipping it with a stick, so I don't know how clean it is. You good to go? You got a snack? Is that your dinner? Who needs chicken when we got snow? So we made it to the highest point of the highway. The Alaska border is right over here. You can see border, uh, the border check-in and everything right behind us. Definitely like people camping out here. I don't know, we're, we're trying to decide if we want to stay here tonight or if we want to go on into chicken. We've got about, a, depending on how long it takes to cross the border, somewhere around an hour. Do you want to see Alaska? Uh -huh. Come over here, I'll show you Alaska. Come here. Look right over there. See those mountains? That's Alaska. Isn't that cool? I want to go see. You, you want to go, you wanna go to Alaska? Yeah. We got to cross the border. They're going to ask us some questions again. You ready to cross? Well, we we debated staying here and just going over in the morning. Mm -hmm. But do you know how hard it is when you've been driving for like three weeks to get to Alaska and it's right, it's right there. there? This is an epic spot. This was still an epic dinner <laughs> spot. We had dinner here. We yeah. enjoyed the view, but uh, but we we were gonna stay here for the night and cross the border in the morning. And I told Nathan, I'm like, I kind of just want to 
get over the border. I want to get into Alaska. I think mm. I think we've we've been Alaska bound for a while. Yeah, I think we're ready. We we want to do it. Um, nothing against Canada. Love Canada. Oh, absolutely love, love Canada. Canada. We made it to Alaska! <laughs> in Alaska, Yay! Hensley! Hensley, you can ask me now. Are you in Alaska yet? Yes! yes we're in Alaska! Alaska. Oh, oh we got yeah, the so, time we're, zone. so now we're an hour even. earlier. Yeah, the time zones have been it's an tricky. Hour before Pacific. <laughs> they have their own, yeah. Oh. So now we gotta get used to another time zone. <laughs> Is there dogs here? No, this like. There are we, dogs here, we'll see some dogs. Do you feel a weight? I feel like a, a weight. <laughs> like you have this. You have this goal. It's like you've been training for this marathon and you made it. So yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be in Alaska. It's awesome. So this is one of those do as we say, not as we do type things. We left our pretty epic spot thinking we would get the chicken, hopefully have some cell signal, grab something sweet to eat. That and it, was the and it said And it said 45 minutes on Google. It took us almost two hours to get here. There's no cell signal. We're hoping there's gonna be something sweet to in here, eat in here at least. Cause it's like, um, it's nine o'clock now. <laughs> so. And this spot, which I'm glad they're letting us park here overnight at the cafe, it's not as epic as no, the spot it's not, we were at before. It's not. We do have a beautiful view of um, uh, <laughs> some refrigerators and grills. Yeah, we got some refrigerators and. So our piece of advice is, I wish we would have camped at the end of that right before we crossed the border because it's beautiful we had that top of the world drive which was awesome and i wish we would have just ended it on that and then started a fresh start the next day because the road after the border crossing to chicken got rough. the the worst road we've had yet through canada and alaska I mean, it's paved right after the border crossing for like five miles and then it turns into it's like when they scrape the road like they're gonna pave it but they haven't and so that's what took an extra time. hour and 45 minutes i mean it was and i missed the alaska sign and I'm yeah really i don't know if, i don't know what happened there either we um we know we're gonna love alaska we're glad to be in chicken go. um hensley's ready hensley's to go. ready to go all right you ready I to get know. some sweets yeah. some 9 p.m sweets i want to see the chicken you want to see the chickens and chicken <laughs> i don't really know if they have chickens yeah we don't know if there's actually chickens here or not i but, know um, you need chicken maybe we can eat some chicken <laughs> all right well, we're gonna check out chicken for a couple minutes and then we're gonna get some sleep. Um, population of 23, right, and chicken? Well, we I'll just play increased it. Chickens. If we find some chickens, you can play with the chickens. Deal? Yeah, deal. All right, so catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>